Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to wrap text around any object in Photoshop. So I have this image and I basically place this inside my text within my magazine. So I'm going to walk you through how to basically wrap a text against any image in Photoshop. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that uh, let me just go through a different page and let's see how we can actually insert uh, an image into this particular text. So we're going to insert image over here, then the text should be around the image. So that is what we're going to do. So we first go and then select the rectangular frame tool and then we draw where we want to insert our image. So I'll drag over there this way. And I'll basically want to insert my image over here and then wrap my text around it. So I'll go to file and then I'll place my image over there. So I'll go to file and then go to place. Okay, so I can basically select any image I want to use. So let me just try and pick this image from here and then open. So I'm going to place this image right here and then we can use the move to just make sure your position where you want the image to be. You can actually enlarge this if you want to. And then we can wrap the text around it. So make sure the image is selected. You can zoom in on this. Just actually enlarge this to so are comfortable with the size you want. Okay. So I'm going to stick with this. And what I need to do next is to go to my Windows menu and then select what text wrap. Make sure that is checked. And it's going to give you this new window. And we're going to use the third button for me that says wrap around subject shape so just select that and you can see it's going to give you something like this don't be worried we're going to wrap the text around it and then from here the control options select subject select subject so make sure you select that and let's see what is going to happen let's wait for some time and you're just going to wrap the text around this particular image so you can see already we have our text back and it is wrapped around this image neatly. And now we're going to do some few things. Let me just enlarge this image a bit. Now what we're going to do next is let's increase the offset. So go to the top and then we just want to give some space between the image and then the text. So increase this from here. Just increase the offset. Offset just increase to just provide some space between the text and then the image. So you can see how amazing this is looking. And if you are comfortable, just close this and you can just see how this is going to look the final work. So we managed to actually wrap a text around this image using Adobe InDesign. So the next thing we can do is to actually do it without a background image. So it's always advisable to do it when your image has no background. So I'll go to another portion. Let me embed another image over here. But this tomorrow is going to have a background. So you have that challenge. You want to remove the background. What you have to do is to go to this site, remove.bg, and then you remove the background of your image. So I'll go back here, go to my rectangular frame tool, and then draw another one over here. And then I'll go and then place the image. Go place, and then just select the image I want to place. In this case, I'm going to use this and then click on open to place the image within the shape. So I have this image. The size seems to be big, so I'll actually reduce the size a bit. Okay, so I'll place this image, but I want my text to wrap around this. Once you place this image, you can just go ahead and then select the text wrap. So go back, select text wrap, and then make sure you select the third option. And then we can now go ahead and select what subject, select subject. And it's going to wrap around just the image. Okay. But this is just having a background. So the best way to do is to, is to use it without what, a background. You can see there's a challenge with this. So it's advisable you go with a, an image with a transparent background. That will make everything very easy for you. And you can manipulate your image. So consider subscribing. And don't forget to turn on post notification for more of my video. And then I'll be showing you more of Adobe InDesign. How to create outline table of content. I'll be doing more of videos on Adobe InDesign. So if something you would like to learn more about, just subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Till I come your way again. Bye bye.